Okay, so let's have a look then at this count to infinity problem. Um, so there's a, a few ways that we can try and manage it. Uh, one is to basically have a, uh, a very small approximation of, approximation of infinity, uh, like whatever we estimate to be the maximum real number of hops in the network. So maybe 16 or 20 or 30 or 40 or 50. Um, it's typically not going to need to be uh, more than that. And so that will limit the time uh, it takes until the nodes realize that there is no path to get to the um, uh, the node. Uh, and of course, that then limits the amount of time that the traffic is being sent around in circles, not able to get delivered. Because this is the problem, right? When the routing table is wrong, um, the traffic will be going around in circles trying to get there rather than uh, nodes realizing that there is no longer a path at all to get to a particular node. Um, so one approach to this is to uh, do what's called splitting the horizon. Uh, so in this case, when nodes send out the routing information to their neighbors, they don't send back information to their neighbors that they learned from that neighbor. So for example, if B um, has a route uh, to E via A that it thinks will take two hops, uh, then it knows that it learned that from A. And so whenever B sends the information uh, back to A, it doesn't include that route. So then A can't mistakenly think that B has a route uh, to E. Um, and this can be done uh, more strongly. So rather than not sending back a route, we can do a split horizon with a poison reverse. And so what we mean there is that in the reverse direction, we say that uh, we believe we have an, a path of infinite cost, i.e. no connection uh, to the node. So in this, uh, using that previous example, B would send uh, back to A saying it has an infinite cost route to E because it has no other path information given to it. Uh, that suggests that it has any route other than via A to get to E. Uh, and so that can help uh, solve that problem. So um, with uh, uh, pardon me, uh, the, the vector-based uh, approach to routing, uh, one, routing pr uh, bleh, one routing protocol that implements this is RIP, the routing information protocol. Uh, so, you know, we might have a, a, a bunch of uh, network segments that have routing between them. Uh, and then each of the routers will advertise. So again, this is for doing the, uh, the distance vector uh, routing. So it will advertise, well, first of all, it actually says uh, what version of RIP it is and uh, has the particular uh, command that's in there. And this is for the second version of RIP. Uh, and then it, for each, uh, network that it believes is reachable is basically providing this information that goes in the vector. So it says, okay, um, it's a network of this kind of type and might have some tags and information in there. Uh, and then it will say what the, uh, the prefix uh, of the network is and the mask. This is identifying the network number. Uh, and then uh, it will have the, um, uh, the distance that it believes, so the cost to get to that network. And then it will repeat that for the next one, so on and so on. Uh, and so this is a very simple way to communicate that information. And so, I mean, this will work, but again, it will have these issues uh, around count to infinity. It will have the, uh, the issues uh, around the, um, the slow propagation of bad news. Okay, so that's uh, distance vector. So we'll have a look at link state routing in the next video.